Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding patient support analysis part 4 using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in United Health interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, United Health Group has a program called Advocate for Me which allows members to call an advocate and receive support for their healthcare needs, whether that's behavioral, clinical, well-being, healthcare financing, benefits, claims, or pharmacy help. A long call is categorized as any call that lasts more than 5 minutes or 300 seconds. What's the month over month growth of long calls? Output the year, month, both in numerical and chronological order and growth percentage rounded to one decimal place. So just like the previous video, we have a table called callers table uh, with three different with six different columns, uh, policy holder ID, case ID, call category, call received, call duration seconds, original order. And here is an example, right? So for each of the month, right, at, uh, arranged in ascending order or in chronological order. So, uh, so if you look at it, right, so the earliest month is uh 2022 of uh, january of 2022 so january of 2022 how many calls have are more than 300 seconds so you have uh two two of those calls are more than 300 seconds right so, uh, then february of 2022 so one uh and two again right so for january of 2022 you have two calls over 300 seconds february again two calls uh you know uh over 300 seconds so what is the month month over month increase 2 minus 2 divided by 2, right? So that is 0%. Similarly for March, April, May and all that, right? So what we can do is, uh, you know, so if you look at uh, the output, so, you know, uh, uh, on uh, in January 2022, there was 2, uh, February uh, 2, right? So obviously before this, there is nothing, right? So the growth percent is 0, then the next uh, February growth percent is 0, and then uh, like we calculate similarly, right? So what we need to do is from this table called callers, if we, you know, uh, extract the year part from the call received column and, you know, group by that year and then extract the month part from the call received column and group by that as well, return those two values and then, you know, try to use the case when statements and the sum to basically calculate the total number of calls that are more than 300 seconds so let's see what i mean by that so from this table call callers let's group by right so let's group by firstly the year right so let's extract the year out of it so extract year from call received right and then again group by the uh, month part right so extract month from call received right and then you return these two columns as well because you need them in the output as well right so return it here and let's alias this as whatever is required in the output so it is uh, yr so as yr and then uh, you know let's copy this again this is going to be the month part right so as mth now what we are saying is we are only concerned about calls which are more than 300 seconds duration right so if we assign the values right okay so case when call duration seconds is greater than 300 then you assign the value one else you assign the value zero and once you assign those values right and then sum it up then it is going to give you for each year and month how many such calls exist which were having duration of more than 300 seconds right so for example for january 2022 so this will be assigned zero this will be assigned one this will be assigned one so if you sum zero plus one plus one is two right so in total there are two calls in january of 2022 which are more than 300 seconds right so that is the same thing that we are going to do so case when right case when call duration seconds is greater than 300 then you assign the value one else you assign the value zero since you started case when statement you need to end it and once you have assigned those values you can simply you know sum it up right so sum this entire thing right sum this entire thing and let's alias this as calls right okay now let me go ahead and run this okay so we have you know for different and let's arrange this in ascending order right so that we can see that order by year and then month right again let me run this okay so january 2 february 2 march 10 uh 
you know april 5 etc so we have these calls now we need to calculate the month over month right so for each of the month we also need to let's make a new column right let's make a new column which has the number of calls from the previous month as well right so what we can do is let's save this entire thing right so with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and let's from this common table expression keep the three columns right so return star and then use the lag window function to get the you know number of calls from the previous month because we need to calculate that difference right the current month and the previous month to get the month over month increase or decrease in uh, the number of calls which are you know having duration more than 300 seconds so lag from the t from the calls column and since this is a window function we write over clause and then we need to order by year and month so that you know it is ordered in uh, ascending order and then we calculate the lag so the previous month right so we write order by year and month and then let's alias this as prev value let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having now right so obviously before this there is nothing so null and then uh, before this month so in january of 2022 there are two calls in uh, you know february of 2022 there are two calls right similarly we have this now once we have this then what we can do is now we need to calculate the difference right so what is the month over month change so in the current month whatever you have then you subtract that from the previous month and then divide the whole thing by the previous month that is going to you know give you the uh, fraction that has increased or decreased and if when you multiply it by 100 it is going to give you the percentage change right so what we can do is we can save this thing as well in the you know another common table expression so cte2 and here like once you are you know since you are already ordering by year month here you can either have this or you don't have this like it does not matter a lot you know just wanted to share this so cte2 as and then this can again go into parentheses right and then from this common table expression 2 from cte2 right let's keep let's keep the year the month because we need year month and then the growth percentage right so we let's keep these two columns and then calculate that growth percentage so growth percentage is current one right so calls minus prep value right and then this should be multiplied by 100.0 right and then this entire thing should be divided by prev value why i am doing 100.0 and not 100 we have discussed this several times in previous videos to avoid the problem caused by integer division right so we have this and let's alias this as a growth percentage right growth percentage however once we have this then we also need to round it to one decimal places right because the question asks us to do that growth percentage rounded to one decimal place so what we do is let's write this as round this entire thing to one decimal place right run decimal place okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having okay so for january there was nothing right so null then 0 400 5, minus 50 you know so this means it was the number of calls decreased with duration more than 300 seconds etc right so we have that okay so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases okay so this is solved and this is how you do it again Yes, somewhat difficult question, but what we need to do was, you know, we grouped from this table called callers, we grouped by the year part and the month part, you know, return those columns and then also use the case when and sum to basically calculate the total number of calls in a given year and month. Once we had that, then we tried to find out, okay, what is the number of calls in the month prior to a particular year month, right? So that we, uh, we, we can calculate the month over month growth right and once we had those two values the current num month calls and the previous month calls to use the mathematical formula num to current months minus pre previous months the whole divided by previous month rounded to uh, you know one decimal places multiplied by 100 to give the percentage so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video